Hey, what's going on? This is Phil Leinberger. And I wanted to show you an alternative way to create your panoramic curve for the mandible. I think a lot of us are taught uh, to initially when we map or create our panoramic curve, we're going to move our axial slice to a good position where we see the cortical bone on both buccal and lingual aspects, and then to simply go down the center of the bone. And this technique works just fine. And then when we go to map our nerve canal, we would slice through buccal lingually so the nerve jumps out at you as you scroll. And you would scroll and mark, scroll and mark, scroll and mark, and so on. And it's a great technique. It works really well. But there's an alternate method that I'm going to show you. So let's maximize this view to see it a little bit better. And rather than focusing on finding the buccal and lingual cortices, let's focus on where the actual nerve is traveling. So let's grab our axial slice, and we're going to scroll until we see our mental foramen. All right, we can begin to see it right here. Now we're going to scroll until we see the nerve much more prominently on our axial view. And we can see it here. And we know the nerve is traveling from buccal to lingual, going from anterior to posterior. So what we can do is map our arch and begin at the lingual aspect and begin clicking, following the path that the nerve is going. Go around the arch here, continue to go towards the buccal aspect here, and then following the mandible down towards the lingual aspect, and then double click. Maybe I'll fix this just a little bit, and maybe on this side as well. But now what you're going to find is that the entire nerve is in full display without having to scroll buccal lingually. So it makes it a lot easier to map the nerve. You might need to scroll just a little bit to capture the mental foramen, but for the most part, the entire nerve is in full display. Either technique works, and there are others as well, but it's really up to you. So hope this helps. We'll see you later.